up fellow cinephiles. I'm back with another film review sooner than expected this time because hey, I found some time. I hope you've already subscribed to my channel for interesting film reviews and analysis. And if you haven't yet, please click on the subscribe button right away. Without much further ado, I'll review a film for you today which is extremely close to me. A romantic comedy by Woody Allen which won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1977 and is considered as one of the best films ever made. As usual, I have attached the best scene from the film at the end of the video. Starring Woody Allen himself and the ever-charming Diane Keaton in the titular role, I review for you Annie Hall. Alvy Singer, played by Woody Allen, is a stand-up comic with a wry, satirical attitude towards everything around and a nervous demeanor which he attributes to growing up in a house under a roller coaster in Brooklyn who is seen filled with regret over his breakup with his girlfriend Annie Hall, played by Diane Keaton, a year ago. With a hilarious wry monologue in the beginning of the film by Alvy himself, we are taken through his childhood where he was a child with questions about meaning of life and expansion of the universe while being brought up by a loud, quarreling countryside family. Growing up, Alvi retains his nervous, eccentric and dry personality and isn't very fond of people around him who he mostly deems pseudo-intellectuals and anti-Semitic. He walks out on his girlfriend's or unresolved mystery sequences, doesn't enter cinema halls if he misses the beginnings even by a minute, publicly humiliates people who claim to know about Marshall McLuhan and picks out on anybody at all who seems to be out of place. His longtime friend Rob introduces Alvi to Annie at a tennis court. They instantly hit it off where Annie is a reluctant, introverted girl still discovering her talent in singing and Alvi is an egocentric guy with a pessimistic view of life who has already parted ways with two wives earlier and is now looking for a new relationship. On the contrary to his ex-wives, Annie comes across as different to Alvi. She is cheerful, has a positive outlook towards life, plays good tennis and is a pretty good singer who doesn't realize how good she is. Annie admits that she loves Alvi and reluctant Alvi accepts her moving into the house, making it clear that they need to always remember that they are not married. Annie starts realizing Alvi's egocentric nature and his over-pessimistic view of life and Alvi starts to think that Annie is seeing other men. Disturbance in their relationship prevails and they decide to break up. Alvi starts dating other women, in the middle of which Annie realizes that Alvi is too important for her to let go of. Even after they get together and start living in together again, their sessions with their respective therapists make it clear that they have a subtle, irreparable crack in their relationship on the basis of which Alvi and Annie decide to break it off once and for all. They part happily after which Annie moves in with her record producer Tony Lacey in Los Angeles. But it isn't the same for Alvi as he finds it extremely difficult to get over Annie. He moves in with his new girlfriend, he tries to lead a normal life but realizes that he misses Annie too much to let go of her. Rest of the film is about how Alvi tries to reconcile with Annie and if and how Alvi and Annie get back together again. Annie Hall is one of the finest films out there, most deservingly, as even after 44 years of it released today, it's still a fresh take on relationships and happiness that each person in a relationship tries to find in a never-ending quest. In his opening monologue, Alvi says at one point, I keep sifting the pieces of relationship through my mind and examining my life and trying to figure out where the screw-up came. This is exactly what Annie Hall is entirely about. Annie Hall is a montage of different instances in Alvi's life, in and out of his relationship with Annie, which focuses focuses on how misplaced some of Alvi's priorities in a relationship are that he is not able to realize how perfect a partner Annie is for Alvi. In another of his key dialogues in the film which goes like, a relationship I think is like a shark, it has to constantly move forward or it dies. Alvi clearly reflects his pessimistic view towards his relationship and he doesn't realize how perfect they are for each other until they break up for the first time. There is a myriad of instances throughout the film that break the fourth wall, a practice which was extremely uncommon in the 70s and doing it in an era when rom-coms needed a hard revamp and a push to bring them closer to reality than sugary narration just worked right for Annie Hall to win the Best Picture Oscar while fighting for it against the first film in the Star Wars series. Woody Allen is terrific in his portrayal of Alvi Singer. The nervous demeanor, the quick-witted dark replies and views he has for the world around at the drop of the hat and the subtle yet fierce lover that he harbors inside of him wins you over. But I have to say this very understandably. 
that Diane Keaton as Annie Hall outshines Woody Allen's Alvy Singer by a million degrees, if not more. It's a well-known fact that not only Woody Allen wrote the role of Annie Hall specifically keeping Diane Keaton in mind, but also did he heavily edit the film to actually center the entire narrative on Annie Hall's character. Although Alvy Singer's character is more prominent across the length of the film, we realize that throughout the film's length, it revolves around Annie Hall and how she and her absence affected Alvy's life on all fronts. All in all, Annie Hall is a film whose brilliance cannot be explained well enough in words. One has to watch it to truly understand the marvel of a film that Annie Hall is. So like and share this review if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Cinemama will see you shortly with another review but don't go yet. Here's my most favorite scene from the film for you. They're, they're, they're wonderful, you know, they have a, they have a quality. Well, I, I, I would like to take a serious photography course. And... Photography is interesting because, you know, it's a, it's a new art form and a, a set of aesthetic criteria have not emerged yet.